Hi Cancer, welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I hope you're all doing well. If you're someone that just clicked on this video, I really hope that you will subscribe, stick around, take a chance on the readings that I do here on my channel. My returning subscribers, I really love and appreciate you all so, so, so much. Um, I'm using the Arcanium Tarot deck. Beautiful deck. Really beautiful. All right. For Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising Signs. Cancer, September 2022. I do apologize that I'm late. I had a lot of private readings this month. And, of course, they come first. You know, they they fade. So, I'm sorry. But, I'm getting them done anyway. Pisces. Sun, moon, rising. Pisces. Pisces. Wow, your cards feel great. Okay, here we go. Six of Pentacles. The Moon. Is that a Cancer? is you. Six of Swords. The Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius woman. For my women, you could have that in your chart. Seven of Cups. The Devil, Sign of Taurus, okay, let's see, the Page of Wands, the Sun, beautiful. Overall energy is the Three of Cups. The bottom of the deck. Wow. The Queen of Swords. Some of you could be dealing with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, woman. Others of you could have air in your chart. Or this could be how you're coming across. Um, under this, oh my God, the hangman. With the hangman, you're waiting. Well, the hierophant is under that, so a lot of you could be waiting. But this is, could, could even be how you're coming across. And the Five of Wands is under that. 
there could be fights, arguments within your relationship or marriage. You know, with the Hierophant. Arguments over a significant stuff. And because of that, some of you could be going out, spending time alone. Others of you, you could be taking a break from a relationship. Others of you could be waiting on something like, like legal with, with the Queen of Wands here. You know, the, or Queen of Swords, I mean. You know, and, and it's all about the truth with the, with the Queen of Swords. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. You know, she's all about justice. If you have someone that has been wronged in some way, you could literally be waiting on justice. And for some of you, like, you're waiting for it to come in. And for some of you, some sort of fairness or a fair fair outcome. Your overall energy is a three of cups. And it's a very social energy. For some of you, that could be news that's coming in. And you're celebrating, especially those of you that have been waiting. I definitely see some of you going out, meeting new people. Now, because you have the Three of Cups as the overall energy, and you also have the Seven of Cups and the Devil, like some of you could be dealing with the Capricorn, and you also have the Moon. There is a new Moon right now in, in Virgo. It started on August 30th, but around this Seven of Cups, you know, make sure you're looking at everything closely. Like, try not to make any hasty moves. Try to take your time with any decisions that you're making for some of you. Everything is just not known. Seven of Cups and the Moon... These, I mean, both of these cards talk about confusion, big time. And fear, really. So, some of you have probably been dealing, waiting on something to come through. And because you've been waiting for a while, there is some fear for some of you. But, again... It's not all what it seems. There could be gossip going on. Some of you are dealing with other people with the Five of Wands. You're dealing with other people. Water sign, Scorpio Cancer Pisces. Others of you could be dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag, or a Capricorn. But you have the Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. And this is, talks about some confusion, deception. But again, there are things that are hidden that you don't have any idea about cancer. You just don't. It's getting to the truth of the matter. Seeing someone or something very clearly. That's what needs... That's what's needed for you guys over the over the first two weeks. But I do feel strongly that you should take your time making... Even separate yourself from this. Take a step back because not all... Is what it seems to be. Some of you might need to separate yourself from a, situa from a situation. It's a gain perspective. It could, it could, 
it'd be for some of you a relationship, but then for others, I feel maybe you're dealing with someone legal or at the company you're dealing with something legal. And I do feel like something really is not is, is is out of balance here. I also feel like something is about... I do feel strongly for the majority of you. It's seeking clarity, truth, fairness. Six of Pentacles. You know, some of you have some kind of help coming in. And for you, most likely a friend... You could be finding something out. I feel like a friend could definitely come in and help you. Even if it's just to give you their ad advice. Their perspective. That could be helpful for some of you. I do feel like this help coming in because you have been fairly, well, fairly stuck. There's confusion with this situation, but you definitely have help coming in. You have exciting news, communication coming in with the Page of Wands, and I also see the Queen of Wands. So you do have a couple of queens here. So you could be hearing something from an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius person that could be coming in and helping you. Or this could be your energy. You know, you're hearing something that is kind of firing you up. You could be receiving clarity, truth, in particular, for you females, definitely. Like, you're probably seeing something very clearly or someone very clearly getting down to the truth of the matter. Definitely. And so, you know, once that happens, the Queen of Wands energy... Taking matters into your own hands. Taking control. Very creative, fiery, passionate, determined. And ambitious energy here. Six of Swords, some of you are definitely moving forward. Those of you that don't have news coming in. You could be f traveling physically. Physically travel. Going to speak to someone could be possibly an attorney or something like that. Could be a Leo person with the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands, the sun is a Leo. That really could be important for some of you. The sun always comes out and highlights things. The moon and the sun. So things that were in the dark secrets are absolutely going to come to light. And for some of you, this is definitely here the first two weeks. Whenever I, whenever I have the sun and the moon in the same spread, things that were hidden are well coming out into the light and for a lot of you that is what's needed you know but definitely things that you were hidden are going to come to light now those of you that are in a relationship I mean you do have the five of wands energy the moon Emotions are running high. For those of you that are coupled, spending time with each other. We're spending time with another person, I should say. Three of Cups, my advice is to really 
watch your communication. You don't want to keep battling because no doubt emotions are running high. And so, I mean, it really is worth the fight. That's something that you need to ask yourself. But if you want to avoid conflicts, usually with the Five of Wands energy, it's nothing big. It's usually very petty. Or you want to avoid these things. Just know that over the first two weeks, emotions are absolutely running high. Very interesting reading. But one thing is certain, truth clarity is definitely coming to light. So in the meantime, while you're waiting, try not to fear the worst. You'll know when the time is right. And then take action to move forward. Let's see here. I'm going to clarify with the after tarot. Which is my amazing deck. Amazing. I connect with this deck amazingly. Okay. The moon. There's cancer waiting to find out with the moon. What is cancer waiting to find out with the moon? The moon. September 2022. Cancer. The moon. The Empress, <coughs> Aries, success, I mean, this is a woman that's confused, and listen, you're the, you're the Empress, you have patience, and you're wealthy, or you're going to be wealthy. The Empress is all about Love, honesty, forgiveness. Maybe you're forgiving a cancer. I think you are, really. Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups for cancer. Well, okay, that was the one. Oh my God, you're getting the truth. Ace of Swords, it's a new beginning. That's being handed to you on a silver pilot. Listen, somebody is definitely giving you the truth that you want, the truth that you need. That you need. Like, clarity is definitely coming in. It is. Beginning of the month, if it hasn't already happened. You definitely have clarity in the truth, honesty coming in. That's what you're dreaming about, fantasizing about with the Seven of Cups. It's coming in. You're making the right decision if you're choosing. I don't care if it's work or love. The truth is coming your way. It is. It's going to lead to happiness. The sun is amazing. Happiness, joyful card. Oh, all right, one more. With the ace, it could take up to a day, a week, a year. Just saying. Six of swords, cancer. Eight of Cups, it's Cancer, you're definitely walking away. You're wa you're leaving something behind. You are. Or you're emotionally really considering leaving something. Whether it's a job, a partner, a spouse. Uh, I, I just think that, especially if you're dealing with a Capricorn, just bail. You don't want to be with the devil. 
I think the devil really is just toxic for you and you need to move on. You are. With, the, with this on the Six of Swords, you're traveling or you're leaving. You're doing something. But whether it's love or job, you're definitely leaving and starting something new. You could actually be starting something new with the Empress. A new job, a new career, starting your own business. I see the Empress. This is a person that will start her own business. And you're getting out of, you're moving out of with the Six of Swords. How did it go? You're just leaving a very toxic relationship. You are. I love a cancer. I love you guys. I'll see you back here for the next reading. Bye.